Saron was able to take advantage of that, catching him with longer shots. Has a reach advantage, of course. But it's Saron, excuse me, Crespo that's forcing the fight, that's making the fight. Being very aggressive here in round number three. Hold, 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 hold. Taking it to him. Hey! Good overhand right there by Crespo. And once he gets inside there, Crespo able to really make hay. Yeah, he kept him there for a while, but then he backed up. He didn't take advantage of his opponent being on the ropes. Saron in the red has allowed Crespo to fight the style that he wants. Yeah, he's fighting this fight. I'm turning red. Crespo keeps catching with the looping shots. So you see him backing up straight again, and that's when Saron takes advantage of that. And Crespo with a wealth of amateur experience, and he's letting it show through the first three rounds of this championship bout. Well, coming up next, the AFL on NBC continues. Tony Graziani, Chris Jackson, and Los Angeles have set their sights on a trip to Arena Bowl 18. Now with just four weeks remaining in the regular season, they'll air it out against the defending champion, Tampa Bay Storm, who last week saved their season with a win against Orlando. Others will see Orlando versus the New Orleans Voodoo or that great rivalry, San Jose at Arizona. Check your local listings for the game and time in your area. The AFL on NBC coming up. And again, Israel Crespo of Lancaster, Pennsylvania, the aggressive fighter. Yes. And scoring. All over Cerrone here in this round. Making a miss and pay at the same time. Another good round for the young Israel Crespo, who's the guy with the most experience. He lost last year in the U.S. Championship. In the semifinals. And he's a two-time junior Olympic champion. Yes. And a national silver gloves champion. Four two-minute rounds. Good solid shots there by Crespo. He caught the attention of the judges. Landed with the white part of the glove. A little nosebleed by Saran. He needs to make something happen big time here in this last round. I want to say he needs a knockout, but in amateurs, it's, sometimes it's, it's impossible to knock somebody out with the head ground. And of course, the gloves are a little bit bigger, more padding than the, in the professional games. There have some, been some great champions that have competed at 106 pounds in the Golden Gloves that have won titles. Jesse Benavides in 1981, Johnny Tapia in 1983, Michael Carbajal in 86, Mark Tushark Johnson in 1988, Floyd Mayweather in 1993, Eric Morrell and Brian Valoria as well have come out of this weight class to win Golden Gloves National Championships. And all of them fighters as well, they, they made a big name for themselves in the professional ranks too. Israel Crespo hoping to add his name to that list, fighting a very good fight against Roberto Cerrone. <laughs> Think about Crespo, he has stayed with his game plan. Yeah, he did. Kept the fight in at close range. Landed solid shots. And time is running out on Roberto Cerrone. And there's the bell to end it as Crespo and Cerrone embrace. Good performance by Israel Crespo in the blue against Roberto Cerrone in the finals at 106 pounds. And time for the Stanley Tools of the Trade replay. And it's 
Israel Crespo just getting his power shots in. That's the Stanley Tools of the trade. Make something great. Well, who is the winner at 106 pounds? We'll find out when we return after this timeout. You're watching the Golden Gloves National Championships on NBC. We asked real mechanics what they think of the new Stanley Professional Grade Mechanics tool sets. There's no difference in quality between these and the tools I paid a lot more money for. It's just a good deal. They're excellent. Stanley's new mechanics tools are made better to last longer because they're built pro-grade tough. Period. During this special limited time offer, log on to stanleytools.com to receive a rebate coupon worth up to $10. For the name of the Stanley Professional Grade retailer near you, call or go online now. Gentlemen, we can rebuild him. We have the technology. Better than he was before. Better. Stronger. Faster. AOL for broadband. Lightning lefty Tony Graziani and L.A. face Tampa Bay as the defending champs try to keep their playoff hopes alive. Or star wideout Travis McGriff leads Orlando against Aaron Bailey in New Orleans, the league's most surprising team. Or San Jose battles Arizona as Western powers collide. The AFL on NBC, coming up next. Welcome back to Kansas City, Missouri. We take a look at Raul Marquez's scorecard, and he had it a sweep for Israel Crespo. Against Roberto Cerrone, 106 pounds. The Golden Gloves National Championships for the judges' scorecards. Here's our ring announcer, Gordon Jacobs. Ladies and gentlemen, the results of bout number one on this afternoon's card in the 106-pound weight class. Your winner and 2004 National Golden Gloves Tournament of Champions champion, in the blue corner, Israel Crespo. Crespo. So 18-year-old Israel Crespo from Lancaster, Pennsylvania, student at J.P. McCaskey High School, a two-time junior Olympic national champion, now adds the Golden Gloves national championship to his amateur resume as he gets amateur win number 126. And a very good performance by Crespo. Very good performance. He uh, showed the judges that he, he wanted to win this national title. Took it to his opponent from the get-go in the first round. Working the body to the top. Good combinations there. He found a way to get himself inside against the taller opponent. And it paid off. Very aggressive style. National Golden Gloves champion at 106 pounds. Yeah, he was given away about four inches in height, but uh, he's able to come up with the victory. And good performance by Roberto Cerrone to advance to the finals. But Israel Crespo, the winner at 106 pounds. He's standing by with Mario Lopez. Thanks, Bob. Israel, I saw you enter that ring, my man. You look very focused, very intense. Was it your game plan to be in his face and that aggressive? Well, well, I was thinking about it was about mom and all my family and you know I just tried it hard and hard and hard because that's how they serve working hard you deserve something hard that's right you put in the effort and you got the win buddy and uh, you made your mom proud on this Mother's Day did you think that level of intensity that you would get tired or were you concerned that you might get tired towards the last round well I was training hard you know but it been a long time and you know my people helped me to get stronger and stronger and all these referees man they were awesome they were awesome and you did an awesome job back to you guys all right thank you very much Marilyn. congratulations to israel crespo as he wins the 106 pound division in the golden gloves national championship we'll move to 119 pounds after this timeout Ooh, look at the textures they almost melt into each other yeah, and it looks so... Soft. Exactly. I've never seen anything this... Crunchy. Wow. Taco Bell's Cheesy Gordita Crunch. Warm flatbread covered in three melted cheeses wrapped around a crunchy taco and topped with a zesty pepper jack sauce. So cheesy. I like cheesy. 
to get crunchy, chewy, cheesy, and melty. Think outside the bun. My name is Viktor Koryabuk. I was born in the Soviet Union. My family and I, we moved to America when I was a teenager. Today I'm a striker driver in the United States Army. Growing up, I was told to be like everybody else. In America, it's different. You can express yourself. You can show people who you really are, what you can do. That's why I don't take my freedom for granted, and I'm willing to fight for it. Catch an American success story. See what's next for Victor at GoArmy.com. Olympic hopeful Carly Patterson leads the U.S. versus China and Australia as the Olympics draw near. The Pacific Alliance Championships, next Sunday, 1 Eastern, NBC. Welcome back to the Golden Gloves National Championships from Kansas City, Missouri on NBC. Bob Papa, Roel Marquez, Mario Lopez from the Municipal Auditorium in Kansas City, Missouri. Israel Crespo.